So here we have the Volkswagen Tiguan R-Line Automatic on a 70 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls from there. The tailgate on this car will open electronically. You can do that from the key or from the tailgate itself. As we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors. This car's also got a reversing camera. Plenty of boot space along with the three individually folding rear seats. And then underneath this tray section, a space saver spare wheel. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. We have a digital readout for the speedometer currently displayed in that middle section, first of all. You can override that with any piece of information you want from the driver data menu all the other menus that are available as well. So assist systems, navigation, audio, your phone, vehicle status, and then background to driving data. Whatever piece of information you have there is fine because you do have a second digital readout for the speedometer on the bottom right, as you can see. On the bottom left, it will show you what gear this car is currently in. Uh, also over on that extreme right-hand side, we have the fuel gauge for the car. And on the left-hand side, uh, the coolant temperature gauge. We back out to the steering wheel. On the left hand side, we have cruise control. Uh, this car is also able to maintain its own distance between itself and the car in front, both speeding up and slowing down automatically, depending on the car in front speed. And that is done via this button just here. Over on the right hand side, we have the buttons I was using for the trip computer and then stereo controls, which continued there on the left. Just behind the steering wheel, we have the minus and plus paddle. That is so that you can change gear manually with this automatic gearbox. And over in the center, the touch screen. This is where you can access your radio. And you'll see we have DAB, FM and AM. You can listen to your own music. And there's plenty of ways of doing that, as you can see. And they include Bluetooth audio, so you can stream your music wirelessly. You can pair your phone from here, so that you can stream your music wirelessly. Uh, and then up in the top right-hand corner, we can access our satellite navigation. There's a full video showing how that works that you can find on our website and also on our YouTube channel as well. Working our way down, we have dual zone climate control. You can adjust the passenger and driver temperatures. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in once it enters the car. When you're happy with those settings, that button turns your air conditioning on or off again. Or you can hit auto. The car will take control of the fan speed and the direction of the air to maintain those temperatures. To override it, just readjust the fans and put it back on your own setting here. We've also got a heated driver seat and passenger seat, both with three different heat settings each. Underneath that, we have two separate USB inputs, auxiliary input, and a 12 volt charging socket. We have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox with an electronic handbrake and auto hold function. And then over on the left here, we're able to change the uh, driving setup mode of the car. So this car can be put into eco, normal, sport, or individual, and under individual, you can customize all of those settings that you see uh, being displayed on the screen now. We can turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic, which will save you fuel, but you can turn it off, it's off now. And then these two are to do with the parking. So this one will give you the parking camera. So we have a 360 parking camera. This is a bird's eye view image of the car, exactly where it's parked now. And if you press the other parking button, and I'll show you in the middle there, it will say, uh, please uh, indicate and engage reverse gear. This car is able to uh, park itself. So it's autonomous parking. Just follow the instructions up on screen. And again, we've got videos showing that working on our website and on our YouTube channel. Lastly, I just want to show you the panoramic glass roof on this car. So firstly, we have a sun blind that will open electronically. Uh, you can stop that at any point should you wish to. Otherwise, just leave it to open all the way to the back of the rear seats. And as you can see, that lets in a huge amount of extra light. But if you wish to, you can open this front section as a proper sunroof. You can see that working now. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.